new headwear. This was uh, decorated by two of my mom's uh, great grandkids that are down in Texas. And so they, so that's, hopefully it's all appropriate that's on there. I didn't really review it very well. But uh, so on that note, I will say let's raise our class once again. Happy birthday, mom. Go close. Woo! Go close the I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and I too have a have a party hat that this is um, was my dad's and from all their trips together he always got picked up pins from everywhere they went um, well I'm sure this isn't everywhere they went but it's a token piece of it from all over the world so um, happy birthday mom and three stories in three minutes <laughs> I gave everybody a four minute <laughs> which which for me is not easy her story my father had just moved into Wake Robin and he gave me a call and he said, can you loan me a hammer? And I said, sure. So I drove over and I gave him a hammer. I said, what do you need this for? And he said, last night I met this sparkling blue eyed lady and she has something on the entrance to her apartment that needs to be fixed. And I thought, I'm pretty sure Wake Robin has a maintenance department. <laughs> Fast forward several weeks, story number two. <clears throat> My wife Kay and I came here to join, to meet Kit and to join my father and Kit for dinner. And we spent a lot of time at dinner talking about when we were going to move to Wake Robin <laughs> and what's the proper age to move in. After dinner, we played pool, of course, and Kay, my wife Kay, not this kid, sunk a great combination shot, the three ball into the far corner pocket. And she was celebrating and Kit politely had to say, uh, you scratched. <laughs> you accidentally hit an hour ball. And Kay said, I, it wasn't an accident, that's the ball I was trying to hit in. And Kit looked at her and said, I think you're ready for Wake Robin now. <laughs> Fast forward several months, story number three. Uh, I had some papers my dad needed to sign, and they were time sensitive, and I figured well, I'll just drop them off on my way to work, uh, unannounced. Um, I knew he was an early riser, so I wasn't worried about it. I figured I'd just surprise him. I went to his cottage and I knocked on the door, and the surprise was on me. Because I'll just say he wasn't the one that answered the door. <laughs> Which I thought was wonderful. We all thought it was wonderful. Everyone in Ralph's family is two people that had both lost spouses after 65 years had all this companionship and traveled together. And the bonus for us was we got to know and love and appreciate Kit. We got to see her kindness, her optimism, her sense of humor. So from all of us on our side of the family uh, to the sparkly oh, blue eyes. celebrating Kit. And my uh, stories are going to parallel dance just a little bit. And then I, I have four vignettes in the four minutes. Let's see if I can do it. So vignette number one was shortly after I was named CEO of Wake Robin, or became CEO of Wake Robin, I took a, a walk one day from my office over to Butternut, where the pool table was set up. And uh, so there were several residents gathered around the pool table. And I saw this um, rather short woman who was leaning over the pool table who looked like she was just in the process of about make, to make a shot, but she was hesitating just a little bit. And I thought, oh, isn't this sweet? The residents of White Robin are teaching this woman how to play the <laughs> her shot and she pocketed the eight ball just exactly as she was supposed to. Um, vignette number two. Um, as we all know, we've had a wonderful string of folks who have run the gift shop and Betsy Wagner is the current wonderful person who gets up and cup and uh, tells us about all the wonderful things in the gift shop. 
Well, uh, more than a few years ago, Kit was that person. So I was always struck at cup of conversation when Kit Wilson would get up and describe, and she often had pictures of the things were the gift shop, and describe what was for sale there. And I often thought, how could you not buy something in the gift shop from Kit Wilson? Because it was the most appetizing and appealing uh, explanation of what was there in the gift shop. Uh, vignette number three, and this has to do with your dad, Nat. So, uh, shortly after Ralph moved into Wake Robin, uh, Nancy Shacoin and I, Nancy's the former marketing director, we went up to Ralph's uh, cottage to welcome him to Wake Robin. I think this was the second day that he was here. So we had a nice little welcoming conversation in the doorway of his cottage and uh, just had a very nice little chit chat. And um, uh, I was immediately struck by what a friendly, gracious, a happy person with a twinkle in his eye that Ralph was. So uh, Nancy and I said our, we had our conversation, we wished him well at Wake Robin and we left. And I can specifically remember the thought that went through my mind was, that man is not going to be unattached for long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, it, and it wasn't long before it was clear there was a very nice friendship between Kit and, and Ralph and it turned into a very nice partnership. So now for my fourth vignette, fast forward to my life as a resident here at Wake Robin. So uh, some of you might know that uh, I think Stu Graves and a few others have organized a monthly ping pong, um, ping, ping pong games down here in the meeting room. And I had heard via uh, Susie Wizzywaddy that uh, Kit was fairly fearsome at the ping pong table. So uh, after I had a few warm up games, I said to Kit, would you like to play a game? She said, sure. So I, was, I had been forewarned that she was a good player, but I was not forewarned about how badly I would lose. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't take long for Kit to prove to me her ping pong skills at uh, 99 and 11 months of age. <laughs> so Kit, here's a big salute to you. There's a wonderful card game called Wizard. Uh, Kit enjoys that a great deal, and like everything else she does, she wins. So, Pinksley and Joan, would you like to give Kit her wizard hat? Pinksley and I are here to give good wishes to uh, from all the jesters. We crown you Queen Wizard. <laughs> Right over that little one. Put it right over it, yeah. <laughs> I have no interest in bovine creatures. And got there and found out it was a wonderful word game. And as you might guess, Kit was involved in this word game. And as you also might guess, she was a formidable opponent. For 20 when, years. For, for 20 years, that's right. You might also need to know how wake, how uh, cows and bulls is played. You, a person says, I'm thinking of a word, and the other members of the group guess what that word might be. And if they guess a word, the person who originally had the word will say, you have one cow. That means you have a letter in your word that's also in my word, but it's not in the same place. If the person says you have one bull, that means you have a letter in the word in the same place as in the correct word. So when you win the game and you're in triumph, <laughs> you see, what does it say? It says, four letter words are fun. Cows <laughs> <laughs> <House> and bulls. <laughs> I shown up. Thank you for coming to help me celebrate. It's been wonderful. <laughs>